Hi everyone. Why do I look so dark? Hi guys. How's everyone doing? I look kind of dark. So let me see if I can. Hi guys. Hi, 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 hi. Alright, let me bring you a little bit closer. Unless the light is just off. You know, my lighting is off in my house. Maybe that's it. Hi. Hi, Mrs. Mommy. I got your gift today, Alyssa. Thank you so much for your gift. I've got this stone here, but it's not telling me what's in the stone. But it's a worry stone. Hi, everyone. Hi, 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 hi. Give me some hearts. Let's start with the hearts, please. All right. Let's start with the hearts. Hi. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night, Tracy. Good night, meaning hello. Good night. <laughs> hi, web girl. Hi, Chama. How are you, honey? It's a rainbow moonstone. This one is a rainbow moonstone. It is beautiful and it's perfect for what I'm doing. Hi, Miss Tracy. So happy you're back. Thank you, Living for Purpose. You look so whimsical. I got all dressed up for this. <laughs> all whimsical -ish. for this. So hello, everyone. Hi, Peaches. How are you, honey? Yay, I caught you live. Yay! It's so much fun. Your hair looks so pretty. Thank you. It's faux dreads, and I love faux dreads. I love it. Hey, lovey. Hi, Peaches. How are you? Hi, Soul of London. How are you, Mom? I'm doing good. Doing good. So, thank you for all the hearts. I forgot to get my mustard seed. It's, you have plenty of time. We're not going to do this until Sunday. You have plenty of time. Welcome back. I know. I know. I should never go on vacation. It is not allowed. I can never go on vacation. Although some of you know that I actually didn't go on vacation because I was doing readings on my vacation. And boy, did I screw those readings up because it was just so hard. The Wi-Fi was a mess. So I want to apologize to everyone who I took readings with the Wi-Fi, it was just a mess, but we made it through. And I think I owe one or two people some extra time. So if you're that person, give me a, a text message and I'll complete the readings. One or two people, I think I owe like five minutes. You must rejuvenate. Yes. Yes, Peaches. So vacation is allowed. Thank you. Thank you. You're so right. The eclipse will mess up the spirits. It depends. It depends upon what you're going to do with the eclipse. All right. Now, some people are completely happy about the eclipse. Utah is sold out and Georgia is sold out because they're going to get the full essence of the eclipse. Yes, Peaches, Mercury retrograde is here. So for everyone who's getting into arguments with their boyfriends and their girlfriends, this is what Mercury retrograde does. If you're not with the right partner, do you, does anybody remember The Sims? Do you remember it's one of the first interactive um, internet uh, packages? It wasn't an app, like you had li literally have to buy it. Well, with The Sims, you use The Sims and you teach them how to drive. You teach them how to go to the toilet. But my brother and I discovered, and maybe it's not new to you, but we discovered that if we just left the Sims application on, that the Sims will begin to do things on their own, all right? Which meant if there was a husband and wife here or boyfriend and girlfriend here, and there was a guy over here, and you could make them fall in love. That's what the package was about, to teach them all this stuff. But if you just walked away for eight hours and you came back, the Sims would find themselves in somebody else's hands. That's Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde says, you're not supposed to be with this partner. Sucks to be you. So, this is where all the chess pieces have to change hands. And that's why Mercury Retrograde is here. It makes us remove ourselves from people that are not supposed to be in our lives. The reason why Mercury Retrograde can be so bad, however, because it's about communication, that's what Mercury is for, the reason why it's so bad is because by the time Mercury retrograde shows up and finally does its work, because we do it, we get it like five times a year, 
we've ignored the signs. So that means the last Mercury retrograde, there was a major problem. You didn't want to fight. You're like holding on to this person. Please stay with me. And then you guys get through it. And then another, and then finally, the Mercury retrograde that breaks you, like, and then it's devastating. It's devastating. And it's like, oh my God, like it hurts so bad. The bottom line is you weren't meant to be together. So, although it may be hard to understand that, it is what it is. I hate that I'm so, I don't feel like you guys are getting, I was trying to avoid that too. <laughs> I like lighting. Better. I like lighting. I don't care. <laughs> hmm, Chris, what do we do with candles? Candles. Welcome from Italy. Wait. So, oh, somebody else came from Italy? Hi, Italy, if you're in the house. So, guys, here's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about changing our energetic realm. This is the perfect time to change your energy because a solar eclipse is huge and it's in the sign of Leo. All right? By the way, I am a psychic. Call me for your own personal reading at. No. Email me at the email project at psychic tracy t r a c e y brown at yahoo.com. Yes, I'm a real psychic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is a book that everyone should have. I don't know if everyone have it. It's called The Pocket Astrologer. It tells you soup to nuts about everything with the moon, but not everybody needs to know this. It's part of my job. So, the solar eclipse is appearing on August 21st at 11.30 in the, in the morning, Pacific time, which means 9.30 Eastern time, which means all the other countries I'm not sure about. But if you know 11.30 a.m. Pacific, then you can do the calculations for yourself. However, I'm not worried about the exact detail of when the eclipse comes in. Because we all are going to do candle lighting on the 20th. And you have all day to do it. For those of you, you could do it from Saturday um, Any time after 10 o'clock, but rather than worry about the details of the time and what country you're in and blah, 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 let's not worry about that. Sunday's not a problem. So if you just light your candles on Sunday, you will be very happy. It's also in a sign of Leo. Okay, Leo is a fixed sign, which means we are hard to change our spirit but we're positive fix, all right? We are lions. We, uh, I love the color gold and scarlet. I didn't know that. The ruling planet is the sun. Key words with Leo is leadership, enthusiastic, generous, power, creative, and very dramatic. So, the moon in Leo, I'm gonna read that to you guys. On the under the influence of the moon and Leo, people need romance. Yes, we do. Affection. Recognition. The desire to be admired and appreciated can be so strong that it may result in especially dramatic behaviors. Leo is ruled by the sun, making this a time of ambition, independence, leadership. People may refuse to recognize their limitations under the moon of Leo. The moon in Leo is a time of enjoyment and warmth, a time to show kindness and generosity to others. Leos rule the heart. And the upper spine. So, here's what we're going to do for the solar eclipse. There are several different types of candles that you all can buy. You can buy a religious candle, must be in white. Must be in white. All these candles must be in white. So this one says, 
angel guardian and there's a saying on the back I like the ones with the saying on the back this one is Holy Spirit I love the Holy Spirit ones because it just opens it up for everyone and anyone regardless of your religious beliefs or a plain white candle with nothing on it all right to go in even further for those of you who can't light these candles because it might look a little weird in your household have no fear little votives are just fine you can get this size or you can even get the one in the little silver container doesn't matter or you can get the nice long votive now i like to have um an herb but because it's solar eclipse what we're going to do is just use mustard seed all right that's all we're going to use as yes the candle must be white no other color not even cream it must be white okay yes mustard seed because you must have the faith of a mustard seed you know that part in the bible where god is like if you believe believe the size and the grain i don't know if i can show you it doesn't matter of a mustard seed so these are what the mustard seeds look like all right all right and what we're going to do is we're going to pray with the mustard seed in our left hand and we're going to ask god for, for some changes very important not to include anyone else in the change all right there are different dynamics that are going on in people's lives so um, there is an allowance to pray for someone's health there's an allowance for that there's an allowance to pray for your children there's an allowance for that other than that this is meant for you so if you're going to include a family member make sure that you include yourself first and then the family member it's very very important do not include someone here for love okay you can say bring me the best man in my life all right and if you're a man then you say the opposite if it's same sex then it has to be same sex it's very very important if you say something like bring me someone well your angels and guys get really really confused and they really really want to work with you and because they're a little ditzy like it's a wonderful world they will bring you someone it could be same sex and that may not exactly be what you meant so you must be very very specific if you're asking about love you cannot include a person. You cannot visually have someone in your mind's eye, nor can you say, please bring me John Doe. It is not allowed. John Doe has his own wishes, his own desires, its own will. And that becomes magic and black magic. And that is not right. We're dealing with the solar energy so that we can change us our core belief system and getting out of our way so with that being said free will thank you with that being said you're going to pour some mustard seeds into your hand and you're going to walk around your house and you're going to pray for change you're going to close your eyes and you're going to walk around your house i don't care if your husband is around i don't care if your boyfriend's around i don't care if your children are around there's no shame in wanting change particularly using the energy that's being created right now under the solar eclipse. So you're going to walk around and you're going to say, God, and my core belief is God. I don't care what your core belief is. I'm going to do mine. You do yours. My core belief system is God. So I'm going to say, God, I've lived a long time and I love you. Can you please provide me? with positive change? Can you make me a better person? Can you make people that come around me be the best positive people for me? Can you allow me to be the best person that I can be? I'm looking for love, God. May a really, really good man come to me. A generous person, a kind person. 
an amazing person, a sexual person. <laughs> may someone, may the man want me physically, desire me, and may I want the same thing. May I be able to give and provide the same amount of love, emotion, sexual energy, kindness. However, Father God, I'm looking to be that person to the world. So can you make me a better person by giving to the homeless, by being generous with my time, by not being frustrated, by being more kind, more generous, um, more pleasing to someone else's spirit. Can you make me a better person so that I could feel what it feels like to give to someone as well as to receive? I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 That's the way I do it. You do it your way. Okay? Now, because the seeds are going to be all over the place, like they're falling out my hand right now, I got a plastic bag, right? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to pick up the seeds. Okay? So I got a plastic bag to put the seeds in. Wait, I'm late after 10 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, anytime after 10 p.m. on Saturday Pacific time. Um, which means any time after 1, 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern time. But it doesn't matter. Do it on Sunday. All day Sunday. doesn't matter. All day. From 12 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Okay. Ooh. Okay, Father God. Oh, by the way, you can also do it Monday morning. So... 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., doesn't matter, okay? So I put it in, right? And all you need is, oh my God, the seeds are all over the place now. That's the only thing about the seeds. And they make babies and they just start popping up all of it. All you need is one little grain. See all these seeds I have right here? You're not going to put the whole thing in. You're going to use one little grain, just one. Just one, just one. You're gonna put it in your candle. All right, I like to mesh it down in there. All right, if you have a saying on one of your candles, I like to say a prayer that the candle offers up. Um, if it's this type of candle, then you just take that one little mustard seed, and you get a spoon or a knife or a spatula and you could put it at the base. All right, no big deal. All right, again, if it's this type of candle, just get a spoon or a spatula and you just put it in there. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the lighting. Just put it in there. All right, that's all you need. Put it on the base. That's all you need. So these are the different type of candles. Religious. See? This one must have seen. They just grow. <laughs> um, got it? Now, here's where the work comes in. That was the easy part. The work comes in with parchment paper or a regular notebook. I like parchment paper because parchment paper, paper is magical. You can get it at Staples or whatever, all right? I also like the color gold because gold is power. But they also have white, and you're more than welcome to use white, particularly white. The only other thing I forgot, and this is very important. If you guys can, everyone should be showered and clean before you do this. If you can, if you can, you should be showered and clean. If you cannot, then wash your hands before you start, okay? So, you're going to use regular paper or parchment paper, and you're going to write what I just said in my hand, but it's more specific this time, right? So, you're going to write, Dear 
for me, this is what I do. Dear God, if you believe in something else, again, no judgment here. Dear God, please allow me to have. And then you state what you want. Again, being specific about personal change is the most important thing. Okay? I want to be free from anxiety. I want to be free from stress. I want to learn how to be um, an amazing human being, a kind human being. I want to be a better person. Please bring better people to me. Please surround me with kind and generous people. You're going to write all that down. Please give me um, amazing friends that care for me dearly. All right? Please allow me to be a better friend. May you allow me to be kind with my soul, with my spirit. See how hard this is? Because I'm making you all work and create a better you. Most people just want to sit back and receive. It's not allowed here. This is not what we're trying to do. We're trying to decide that today is a better day. We're trying to make sure that we don't have all these issues that are going on around the world. That can't happen unless we start with change for ourselves. Okay? Now, once you write your letter to God, you must end it. Oh, by the way, I made a mistake. When you have the seeds in your hand, you must end it with, may it be good and correct for all. You also must end the letter with, may it be good and correct for all. Okay? That takes you out of it. And that allows, if you accidentally put somebody in your mind's eye, you take it out when you say, may it be good and correct for all. Because if it's not correct and you put somebody in your mind's eye, like in love, and because it's hard to pull somebody out, that becomes the magic. But you don't want that. So when you say, may it be good and correct for all, you take the magic out. And you allow the good and correct for all to be in God's design. So, when you do that, for those of you that are not religious, make up something else. Again, this is what I do. <sighs> From side to side, I put, in Jesus' name. And then I write it again, in Jesus' name. And then I write it again, in Jesus' name. No oils. No oils, not this time. No oils, no oils, no oils. Leave the oils out of it this time because the oils have a reaction that's bigger than you, okay? So I like to use oils. This time it's devoid of oils, okay? So you're going to continue right in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I mean do it with like love in Jesus' name. And you do it over... It's work, but make it good work. Make it work that makes sense finally. Make it work because you're doing it for God. Make it work because you want change in your life. Make it work because what you've been doing hasn't been working for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Until you get to the bottom. And then you're going to turn the paper over. And you're going to do it again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I love this part. In Jesus' name. And you're going to do it down, all the way down to the bottom. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And then you're going to go cat a corner. In Jesus' name. 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 
And then you're going to do the other corner. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Then the other corner. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Nothing about this needs to be perfect. It's the work that you're putting in. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And then any open spaces, like mine is has a lot of open spaces, you're going to fill it up in Jesus' name. 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 It should look so floppy that you can't even see what you wrote. Then you're going to take your candle. Which one am I going to choose? I'm going to choose Holy Spirit. I like Holy Spirit because the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to choose Holy Spirit for right now. And you're going to place your candle. There's energy that you could use. You can clap your hands to change the energy out. Or you can use a bell to change the energy out. Or if anybody has any singing bowls. I love the singing bowls. Use the singing bowls. Um... And you're going to light your candle. All right? And you're going to call it a day. So, oh, thank you, Charm. You're so sweet. Very important. Everyone. Fire is not allowed. If you are not home, you do not need that candle burning. It is about the love that you have for God, the love of change. You're not trying to make this work. You're going to decide that when I come home, I'm going to light my candle, and I'm just going to let it embody my whole house. All right? And when you go to bed, you're going to put it out. For the most part, I like to put my candles out just covering it with anything. All right? You don't blow it out. When you wake up in the morning, as you're getting ready to work, you can light it, but you can put it out again. I don't care if it takes you 10 days for this candle to go makes no difference to me but for those of you remember there are different sizes that you can use um, uh, fire safety is the most important thing do not leave the candle unattended don't even be smart about it I know everyone is going to be like I could do I know I've done it don't do it it's not worth it fire is not worth it okay what's the last thing I'm going to say to you all when the candle goes out all right. I hate that the light is so bright, but I wanted the brightness. Oh, maybe this is better. When the candle goes out, completely out, has burned out, you're going to take this lovely piece of paper with all your wishes and desires on it, and you're going to burn it. Again, fire safety. Make sure you're burning it, and there's a pot there. So burn it. Make sure the pot is there. Make sure the ashes go on, and you could fold it, like you could do anything you want at this point, because it's all about fire safety. So make sure you have a frying pan, all right? Light your paper, leave it on a frying pan, let it burn. And the reason why we're burning it is because you're supposed to have the faith of a mustard seed. You're not supposed to remember what you wanted. You're supposed to ask for it, let it go, and believe that God will provide. And that's it. That's your solar eclipse energy. I hope everyone enjoyed this. Please call me for your own personal reading. This is called parchment paper, P-A-R-C-H-M-E-N-T. And you can buy it staples. Parchment is also paper that's used for cooking. That's not the one I need. I mean the one that looks like paper that you could write on. It's what the old resumes used to be written on. Do you remember? You used to write your resumes on parchment paper. And the reason why you wrote your resumes on parchment paper as opposed to white paper, because parchment paper has spirit in it. And so you got a job when you use parchment paper. Now everything's online. There's no parchment paper. <laughs> but they still sell it staples. Great tonight. Need to hear this message. Oh, thank you, Tom. Can you ask for financial blessings? Yes. Yes. Please include finance. I don't know how I missed that. Please include financial blessings. Just make sure 
as you're asking for the financial blessings, you don't have anything specific in mind. So you can't ask for the financial blessings and think the lottery. You have to say, may I please have an abundance of financial wealth where I don't have to worry about rent or food or clothing. I trust you, God, in the way it will come to me. Oh, how did I miss that? Of course you can ask for financial blessings. Thank you for that question. That would have been terrible to finish this reading without that. May I have some hearts, please? Thank you all for tuning in. Amen. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in. Amen. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you. And happy solar eclipse. How much fun is that going to be? Yes, I'm going to post this video up on YouTube. Oh my God, oh yes, please, please ask for better health for yourself. You're allowed to ask for better health for people that you know and love, yes. <clears throat> better health is the only one where you can have someone in your mind's eye, yes. Do it for yourself first and then give the blessing to someone else um, in addition to yourself. Jealous, all the questions on your birthday. Are you a Leo or are you a Virgo? I think you're still a Leo on the 21st, right? Happy Leo, happy birthday. Yes, <clears throat> someone's saying happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, all right, guys. I hope I helped. I hope this makes a difference in your lives. I pray to God that anything that I do or that I provide makes people be better, better individuals loving people, kind people, may that come across more than anything. May your spirit receive that. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hi guys. Thank you. You're welcome, Dina King. Amen, Shanelli. It does. Aww. Thank you, Soul of London. Yes, call me for your own personal reading. Psychic Tracy Brown at yahoo.com. Oh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, hell. Just Google me. <laughs> Bye, guys. That was wonderful. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You guys are great. Bye, guys. <laughs>